Hey guys, it's Tiffany from the blog GrowingDawn.com. Today I wanted to show you my garden. It's been a while since I've brought you guys out here. Um, it is now early September, so a lot has changed since last time I showed the garden here on YouTube. It is time to plant some fall crops. I've already done a few, but I have a whole lot more that I want to do today. So I figured I would take you all along with that. I'm gonna talk about what I am planting today that will grow quickly enough to come up before the frost and freeze of late fall. So just for reference, I am in growing zone seven. Um, we are in East Tennessee, so it stays warm here for quite a while. We probably won't even get our first frost until mid to late October. Um, so we still have a good amount of time left in the growing season, especially for those quick growing things. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today. So if you're in zone seven or a more southern zone, then you should be able to use and plant these crops that I'm planting today and be able to harvest them in time for the cooler weather. The thing about my garden this year is it's really been a lot of an experiment. This is my first time really taking on such a large garden. Um, I really just wanted to see how many different things I could grow. Um, how certain crops did. The good thing about my approach to gardening this year is I don't feel bad if I miss something. I'm hoping to obviously take it a little bit more seriously, take the next step next year and just do that year after year. Um, but this year, if I don't have time to do something, I haven't really worried about it. So I have my seeds and all my supplies. So I am going to head in here and get to work. I just realized that I'm dealing with some squash vine borers on the pumpkins and the winter squash. I didn't have any of these on the summer squash, but now I'm kind of frustrated and worried that these plants aren't gonna make it. We're just gonna have to do the best that we can to keep them at bay, but we'll have to see. You see those? That's not good. I was so excited because these vines were growing so well and there's still a lot of beautiful blossoms and a few fruits. So I'm just gonna pray that these bugs don't take them out. a little bit about crops that are quick growing that you can plant in September and still get a great harvest. Um, you can plant lettuce, arugula, kale, 
Swiss chard, collards, um, really any type of leafy green is going to grow quickly, like within less than 50 days more than likely. And they are well suited to cooler weather and can tolerate a little bit of shade. Um, if you have a lot of other stuff growing in your garden already like I do, they actually thrive in those kinds of conditions. Um, so that's probably one of the best, easiest crops that you can plant even now in early to mid September as long as you're in kind of a more southern climate. Other crops that you may not think about that are quick growing and can be grown, you know, sown at this point in the season are beets, baby carrots, um, turnips, radishes, um, those kind of root veggies. They actually do really well in cool weather, um, even with a few frosts, they will still be just fine. They'll continue to grow. Um, and they actually taste really sweet when you harvest them around frost time. So if you're wanting something a little bit different to try out, um, and this is your first time maybe planting a fall garden, definitely go with some of those root veggies. Um, and the great thing about those root veggies is they actually do really well in containers. Um, like if you have a really big deep container or even a five gallon bucket or something like that, um, you could just put that on your back or your front porch and grow some root veggies this fall. Also green onions are great to grow in the fall. They come up quickly. Snow peas or snap peas are another one as well and that is one that I am really prioritizing planting today because they do take a little bit longer. Um, so I have a little bit of trellis here um, from where I was growing these asparagus beans. I've taken down most of those. So I'm just going to plant a few in front of this trellis and see if I can grow me some snow peas before it gets cold. collards. Um, apparently they get up to 32 inches tall. They have greenish blue leaves and they are ready to harvest when they're about five to six inches long. It says that it takes them about 75 days to reach maturity but again these are cold tolerant so even if we get a few frosts they will be fine. Cilantro. And I've heard that if 
you direct sow it, it will grow pretty well this time of year. This time of year, I pretty much give up on weeds. So yeah, things are quite overgrown, but we just had a few really soaking rains, so this is a good time to try to pull some things up. Let me know in the comments below if you bother weeding at this point in the gardening season. I feel like maybe I'm not alone in this. I don't know. Plus who doesn't kind of love that crazy overgrown garden look? exciting in some ways, a little bit nerve-wracking in others because we have so much to do before it gets cold, um, but today is the perfect day to work in the garden. So I think next I'm going to work on planting a row of beets over here next to the peppers. Um, we'll see how far I get. If I can get that done, then I may go ahead and plant some radishes too. Obviously a little bit of weeding is going to be necessary if you want to plant probably the most I've weeded in a couple months. to I did that row of beets and I decided to stop there because it's almost lunchtime and I need to head home and I needed to harvest a few tomatoes which yeah I got some stuff that I will show you guys well it's kind of a mess in here but got some eggs from our chickens got some tomatoes got some peppers and I believe there is a cantaloupe in there too. So, yeah, it was a productive morning. Thanks for coming to the garden with me. I hope that it was fun. I think what I have learned this year through this garden is that if you commit your time to the Lord and obey Him in doing the things that He has put on your heart, He will bless it. And he will make it fruitful in some way or another. It doesn't always turn out exactly the way that you think it will. It doesn't always look the way that you had envisioned in your head, but it is still blessed because it is the work of his hands through you. And that is what I feel like he's given me the confidence to do this year through this garden. So that's my garden. Those are my thoughts for the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I will be doing a blog post very soon, which I will also link in the comments once it is done on quick growing crops that you can grow in September. So happy gardening. I will see you in the next video.